All right, so Tyler addresses her colored identity. Uh, yesterday we had an interview with South African superstar Tyler. During the interview, Charlamagne asked a question that her team didn't allow her to answer. We have audio from that. School, school me on these debates that they be having about your identity as a South African colored person. What, is, what does that even mean? Oh, I like that. We're keeping that in the interview, too. <laughs> I like when they talk from the back and say we can't. I like that. I like that. That's good. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. Well, that clip started to go viral shortly after we aired the interview. Um, Tyler eventually decided to clear the air and shared a post to our Instagram story. And she said, yo, guys, never denied my blackness. I don't know where that came from. I'm mixed with black, Zulu, Irish, Mauritian, Indian, and colored. In South Africa, I would be classified as a colored woman. In other places, I would be classified as a black woman. Race is classified differently in different parts of the world. I do agree with that. She also said, I don't expect to be identified as colored outside of South Africa by anyone not comfortable doing so because I understand the weight of that word outside of South Africa. But to close this conversation, I'm both colored in South Africa and a black woman. Yeah, people were upset with, you know, uh, the questioning and, and the fact that she didn't answer. But yeah. I, like I tell everybody, the questions that we ask are from things that are out there. She did an interview a couple of years ago when people were asking about it and asking about it. So, of course, when she came up here, we had to ask her about it. Now, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. understand why she didn't answer that in the interview. Mm -hmm. That was confusing. Like, why just yeah. not say that? And you're doing press. You know what I'm saying? So, like, her label or manager or whoever, you know, just got to get her training because it's different ways to pivot from what you don't want to answer. Correct. Um, you know, instead of just looking at somebody or having somebody come Because remember when Charlamagne did Donkey Today for the dude on CNN, like, yo, like, you had somebody wave you down in an interview right to be like yo no we ain't talking about that but it's, it's press, like still said, yeah, yeah like, it's, it's press. press like you said you, you're, you're a going, superstar yes you know what they're going to ask you you know they're going to ask you some questions about your mm -hmm. album you know they're going to ask you about the bs too and you got to be yeah. able to answer those questions as well yeah so to come with like a whole list like of nine or ten things that we can't talk about when that's really all like a lot of majority of people like really know exactly that was a little crazy but um yeah so that i, I would have you know preferred that she said that but just a little media training get it right she'd be all right hey pretty girl club so this is going to be a very quick video I want to talk about this big outrage that everybody's having online about Tyler and her identity, about her calling herself colored and stuff. I call it fake outrage because, first of all, I don't know how many times people from South Africa have came up and explained what the term means over there. The word colored over there means something completely different than it does in America. I don't get why that's so hard to understand. So y'all want me to call her a whole American slur? You want me and my son are behind to be calling her a whole slur. Let, let me get into this. And I know the kind of dissonance that'd be crazy for somebody else, but this is insane. And I, I just... I cannot believe that we're here in 2023. So this is Singer Tyler, she has a song water, she's from South Africa, and I believe she's mixed race. And I don't know all the races she's been mixed with, but it's like a lot of European, and then like, it seems like some of the Caribbean islands, as well as maybe some South Asian. And recently, people have been so saying that she's black, and- I wanted to talk about this fake outrage that everybody's having online about Tyler and her identity, about her calling herself colored and stuff. I call it fake outrage because First of all, I don't know how many times people from South Africa have came up and explained what the term means over there. The word colored over there means something completely different than it does in America. I don't get why that's so hard to understand. So y'all want me to call her a whole American slur? You want me and my son are behind to be calling her a whole slur. Let, let me get into this. And I know the common dissidents about to be crazy for somebody else, but this is insane. And I, I just... I cannot believe that we're here in 2023. So this is Singer Tyler, she has a song Water, she's from South Africa, and I believe she's mixed race. And I don't know all the races she's been mixed with, but it's like a lot of European, and then like, it seems like some of the Caribbean islands, as well as maybe some South Asian. And recently, people have been saying that she's black, and apparently the South Africans are up in arms about it, calling her colored and it's it's jarring for me and my people because what the hell you mean by that i am from the south i'm from texas my daddy from georgia my mama from mississippi so that is again a racial slur from where i hail from and i want to be quick to say too i'm not trying to ignore the fact that she identifies as mixed person i get that i completely understand i have no problem calling her mixed i have no problem making sure to identify her as such but at the same time, as an American, as an American from the South, like hell, I'm going to call her that. And why the hell am I going to listen to some people who had an apartheid say, I get it, I get it, America has their own issues too, but let's not forget. Why am I going to listen to y'all tell me that I have to call her that? Again, it's a slur where I'm from. What? And the funny thing about it is, y'all hear the word colored as a derogatory term that used to call black people in America, right? What about the N-word that we use so casually in our conversations? What about the N-word? Just because we changed the a from the E-R to the A, it's okay? That's something we call each other all the time. But I'm saying we throw the N-word around like it's okay. And it actually had a bad history 
to the word as opposed to the word colored in their culture i think it just means a mixed person and i don't think it even has any bad history but the n-word does like y'all gotta understand that the black community has to understand that i call it fake outrage because people i feel like people are just looking for a reason to hate on tyla and i saw this a mile away before she blew up before the water song this was like a year ago when she was on tour with chris brown in europe and um i saw a picture that they took together whenever he posted that picture on his instagram of them together i was like i saw that picture i was like oh who is she and i checked her instagram out and i was like oh she's pretty and she could sing and she could dance and she gets talent oh she's gonna blow up quick oh she's gonna have some haters when she does when she does and a year later here she is but i think it's a pretty good thing people need to find a reason to pick on you because as a pretty girl myself i go through this on a small scale in my everyday life i can imagine being on a bigger scale but people will look for a reason to sabotage you if you're pretty like the word colored offends y'all and it doesn't even mean the same thing why the whole thing just like confuses me how are you from south africa but you consider yourself colored the motherland and you consider yourself colored why not just african or black either one why would you consider yourself colored like that just doesn't make sense to me it doesn't even mean the same thing as it does in america i don't understand this outrage i don't it's still a topic of discussion so y'all just had to start beef with africa huh y'all just had to start beef with africa so if you guys didn't know, the girl that made this song, uh, made me, made me sweat, make me hotter, make me lose my breath, make me root water. You know that. You know how that go. Um, people were trying to cancel her or criticize her because she called herself a colored South African. In South Africa, that terminology is used to identify people who are mixed. Well, people in America who know she's from Africa still decided to put their two cents and stated that what she's saying is highly offensive and that she's being distasteful to her black side, stating that how could she say this and consider herself a black woman? Now, South Africans have come and started calling out us for calling her out. Well, not us, because I'm not a part of this. Y'all did that. But for calling her out, about what she says stating that they've always said that stop implementing american um issues or terminologies onto africa terminology and i ain't gonna lie i kind of agree because y'all try to cancel somebody off of a disconnect like even on the post of the neighborhood talk i'm seeing y'all girls argue about how it doesn't matter if it's used for something else in africa here it means that and it should not be said at all bro Y'all can't tell another country folks what they can and can't say or do, bro. I'm just giving it a bean. Like, y'all doing too much, bro. Like, people are really out of their mouths saying, why is she calling herself colored? Guess what? She's from a whole another country. With a whole another history. We really have to stop with the fake outrage. Stop finding a reason to hate on pretty girls for no reason. Like, if we're mad about this, stop saying the N-word. She addressed this thing multiple times. I don't know how many times she addressed it. Tyler has reacted to the backlash she's gotten over her ethnicity. The gorgeous new singing sensation Tyler, who had a smash hit with her song Water, is currently sparking a race war online. Tyler is only 21 years old and hails from South Africa, and she has proudly opened up about her heritage via her TikTok page. She said, I am a colored South African. I come from a lot of different cultures. A lot of people were outraged with the way she used the word colored, as this is used a lot as a derogatory term against black people. What was meant to be an innocent video posted to share her background and culture with her fans has turned into a huge cultural debate on social media and people are claiming that her career is over because of her comments. I think she just said once or twice and let it go, like, good. It's just simple. A lot of people have confirmed it too, and y'all still don't get it. People from South Africa are coming up all the time saying, this is what it is. But that's just, that's just what comes with the territory when you're attractive and you're talented. People find any reason. 
as soon as they see something, a flaw or something, they're like, aha, look. She's not perfect at all. <laughs> like, pretty girls go through this daily. I can imagine the famous ones. Like, if I was Tyler, I couldn't be on social media right now. Her name's everywhere. And another thing. Y'all need to make up your mind about this whole black thing with her. Y'all want her to identify as black. But if she identifies as black, y'all gonna be like, oh... She shouldn't represent black women because she's light skinned. She's mixed race. She's not even all the way black. Black when convenient. I, if she, it's like she can't win. If she identifying as mixed now. Y'all mad. But if she identifies as black, y'all gonna be mad there too. Like make up your minds. <laughs> she can't make y'all happy either way. Y'all gonna have to accept that's how she identifies. Don't lose sleep at night because she calls herself colored. Just let it go. We got all kinds of ways we identify in America. You can identify as a cat if you want to. Especially if you, you can identify as a cat if you're a child in school. My son's school, the kids are identifying as cats and the teachers literally can't say anything. They've been bringing litter, kitty litters to school to use the bathroom. And the, teacher, the teachers aren't even allowed to say nothing. But this is what we do. This is some fake outrage. This does not mean derogatory over there. We live with so much trauma in this community. The word color was used like 50 years ago. The racist people today, I don't even, are they use, Are they still using the word color? I think they use the N word more. I haven't heard the word color in years over here in America. Like we love to be trapped in our traumas. We love to remember our traumas like, it doesn't even mean the same thing over here. <laughs> I'm trying to tell it. Tyler, if you ever hear this, keep your head up, girl. This is just the beginning. This is, you're just blowing up. You're just blowing up, too. This is not even nothing. People are really looking for a reason, I can tell. I know you're probably already used to this, Tyler. I know, Tyler, you're probably already used to this in your real life. I know, Tyler, you're probably used to this in your regular life. Before you blew up, so it's just going to be on a bigger scale. Oh, international scale. That's crazy. Yeah, that's so crazy. I could be famous for real. That's just too much negative. People looking for any reason for you to fail. If you are an attractive person. Not only is, not only is Tyler pretty, she benefits from isms, and she has the preferred body type. So she has like three. She's a triple threat. So she's really triggering people out there. Like we, uh, as a pretty, in the pretty girl community, we talk a lot about how if you have more than a couple of positive traits, like let's say you're pretty, you're funny, you have a smart, you have a funny personality, you're smart, you're talented, you got a good body, all of that at once, that triggers people's emotions. There's too many triggers for insecure people at once time on one person. But it's going to trigger them way too much. Tyler is everywhere, too. Every time I go on Instagram, I see her. Facebook, I see her first. First thing I see in the morning, Tyler, Tyler. The water song. First thing I go to work, the water song. Her marketing team is doing their thing. Let me tell you. <laughs> marketing team for Tyler, y'all doing your thing. But yeah, Tyler, it just comes with the territory, girl. Keep your head up. If you ever, if you ever see this, <laughs> which you probably won't. But your tigers will support you. I'm a tiger. So we got your back. Don't let these haters get to you. Don't let Charlemagne mess with your head either. He a hot mess. Yeah, but that's all I wanted to say. Make up your mind. Do y'all want her to identify as black or not? If she does identify as black, are y'all going to say something when she gets the black rolls? Let me know what y'all think. Y'all leave pretty girls alone. I'm sick of people messing with pretty girls, damn.